it's a cloudy day guys so it's a nice day to not go to the beach but to check if I can find a company that can wrap this car in beautiful colors and Bitcoin logos and the sponsor and in Bitcoin logos and the logos of the supporters of this tour so I'm going to drive a few minutes around I found two or three places that uh, possibly can wrap the car so I let I, I need to go and check there and ask of course if they want to accept Bitcoin but also just check if they even can wrap the car and if not I need to drive a little bit further that's a half hour drive I think to Albufera there's another company I still have this issue I think with the symbol this orange motor symbol this one I ordered a Wi-Fi, I think it's a Wi-Fi ODB2 reader that I can hook up to the car and then I can read the statistics of the car with an iPhone uh, without going to a very expensive garage or anything. So I can read the diagnostics of the car myself and I can see which error it is that is um, creating this orange light of the motor um, to flash. So. Thank you on YouTube for commenting about this ODB2 thing because I didn't know it really existed. I always went to the garage and paid a shitload of money to have um, the car read out and repaired and all that stuff. Thank you. So let's see. First things first today, going to search the wrapping company to wrap the car. And then of course, I will add some beautiful Bitcoin charts and everything else to this video. I found one, but this one is closed at the moment. Should be open, but they are closed. I will email them, email them, and I'll, I will come back. Hi guys, I just came from the wrapping company. They were closed, so I need to find another wrapping company. Wow, slippery over here. But I saw that there is a beautiful um, area and near this wrapping company, so I think. So I thought, let's drive there and record my video over there for you guys. It is a very beautiful area and I will definitely come back here at a sunrise moment because the sunrise over here should be very beautiful. So I will give you a preview of the area that I will visit during the sunrise, but now just enjoy the views that I am showing you today. And next time guys, a beautiful sunrise here at, I think it's called Punte Pidade or something near Lagos. Let's talk about Bitcoin first, guys. Let's talk about charts. Let's dive into these charts because yesterday it took nine minutes for me to reach the first chart because I was talking more about life and all that stuff than the charts. So today I'm going to focus a little bit more on the charts while I enjoy these beautiful views of the ocean. Bitcoin touched 11K yesterday, but we dropped back to 10,860. So what is Lisa expecting? Let's take a look at Lisa's 12 hour chart. This one, bam. This is a 12 hour chart. The chart that Lisa created, beautiful colors, of course. On this chart, guys, you can see that, on this chart, guys, you can see that Lisa expects us to be in this one, two, three, four, five pattern upwards. And we already had the one, two, three. Wow. This is beautiful. So Lisa expects us to go to number three. That one is around 11,200 to 11,500 US dollar per Bitcoin. And then when we touch that region, pull back again to number four, which is around 10,800 US dollar, if I remember correctly. From there, take it up to number five. And number five will be around 12,300 US dollar. So this is a 12 hour chart. Every candle is a 12 hour. So two candles is a day. <laughs> you can calculate yourself. But this scenario should be playing out the next couple of days slash week if it is up to the chart that Lisa just showed us. View is amazing. I will, I will soon turn around so you can see this view instead of my ugly face again. <laughs> no. But we still need to mention this chart. Bam. This chart is again showing you the CME gap that a lot of people still expect to happen. The CME gap is around 9,600 US dollar. Yes, we already dropped to 9,800 US dollar, but we didn't close the gap because we didn't fall back. I am not a gap believer, but, be, but because 90% of the people believe the gap, mostly these things happen because just people want it to happen. I find it very illogical to gaps to be filled because people should just not sleep during Bitcoin trading hours. 
But if we fill this gap, guys, then we would even then we would still need to drop back to 9,600 US dollar, which would be in the area of Lisa's number four. Exactly. So if we would reach three, 11,200, drop back to ele uh, drop back to number four, maybe make a wick down to 9,600 to close the gap, and then go up to 12,300. That will be the perfect situation for everybody. That will be the perfect situation for everybody that wants this gap to be filled because they are sick in their head, and for everybody that wants Bitcoin to go up to 12k. So probably this will be playing out. Yes, guys, I will soon share this beautiful view with you guys, but you need to listen to me a little bit more because I want to zoom in a little bit to the four hour chart. So let's take a look at the four hour chart. Bam! On this chart, you can see that Bitcoin is moving above the cloud. This is very good because this means that we just flipped the resistance into support on the four hour chart. And this also means that Bitcoin is going to be pushed upwards from here. At least if we keep acting above this four hour cloud like we are doing at the moment you can also see that we will see a crossing of the 21 and an 89 ema so these two lines are going to cross over the, the blue one is coming upwards and it's going to cross the 89 ema and that will mean as well that it's a golden cross that bitcoin will be pushed upwards as well man i'm enjoying this view so much i'm going to share it with you in a minute it's beautiful I'm and on this chart guys this is the chart by willy Wu. Bam! On this chart, this is a one-day chart. You can also see on this one-day chart that the uptrend is still intact. On this one-day chart, guys, you can see that the Bitcoin price just bounced off the 120A day moving simple average. The simple day moving average. That's how you say it, Didi. So we just bounce off this line. This is a very strong signal for a long-term upwards movement in Bitcoin. Bouncing off this 120A day moving average is a very important signal and you can see on the chart we just did this we are going up from here is what this chart is telling us if we even backtest this strategy we can see that if you invested one bitcoin like 10 years ago you would have 10.5 bitcoins now just by selling bitcoin every time it moves below the 128 day moving average so every time it below it moves below this blue line the 128 day moving average you sell your bitcoins and when it crosses above you buy your bitcoins and just by doing this spot trading you would already have increased one bitcoin into 10 and a half bitcoins this exactly this exactly this this backtesting future and all these trading strategies is exactly what machina trader is offering so one of the supporters of our tour machinatrader.com will offer you guys to backtest all the strategies you produce yourself so you program a strategy so you create a strategy you backtest this strategy across all exchanges in all time frames and then you can see what your strategy would have had as a result in the past and then you can also predict of course a little bit what kind of result your strategy would have in the future so check machinatrader.com if you are interested in this backtesting future to see what kind of strategy had the best outcome if you had used that strategy to trade check machinatrader.com and yes i agree you waited long enough so i'm going to show you the view i have and after i show you the view i will continue a little bit more about bitcoin atms and some other really cool news but first now guys enjoy this amazing view Somewhere there guys, there, there is a beautiful eye and a beautiful place where you can walk down to the sea. But I will do that the next time for a sunrise because the sunrise should be beautiful from there. So next time I will be here very early, it's 7 o'clock in the morning to show you guys a beautiful sunrise. I already love Portugal now, I'm here for two days guys, it's a beautiful country, the views are amazing, the people are amazing, the food is amazing, it's pretty cheap and guys yes, finally I can go into the sea again today because the sun started to shine, it did rain tonight 
but it's dry now. It's time to head to the family and take them and go to the beach and swim a little bit in the sea, guys. But before I do this, I will tell you two more things, guys. One, we now surpassed 10,000 Bitcoin ATMs worldwide. So we have 10,000 Bitcoins ATM. It's an exponential growth curve we have seen, about 87% in the last year, about 67% just since January this year. So there's a huge growth in Bitcoin ATMs worldwide. The only country that didn't see a growth was Austria. And I have an opinion about this. It's not because only the regulations, but I think the reason that the Bitcoin ATMs didn't grow in Austria is because in Austria you can now pay directly with Bitcoins in 2,500 stores. So these countries where you can see the adoption of direct payments of Bitcoins, they don't need Bitcoin ATMs anymore because you can pay directly with Bitcoins. So I think this is the reason why Austria saw a decline in Bitcoin ATMs because they saw an increase of adoption of direct payments of Bitcoins. And that of course together with the regulations that Germany and Austria have now for companies that want to have or own a Bitcoin ATM because they need to do all kinds of regulations, all kinds of paper shit you don't want to do. But still I think more than 2,500 stores accepting Bitcoin has also a very positive influence on the Bitcoin declining ATM machines in Austria. And then guys, we have another chart, another table, I should say this table, all the signals are green guys, this one, bam. In this table, you can see the signals provided by miners, by exchanges, by fundamentals. You can see all of them in a row. Miners, we take a look at the hash ribbon and the well indicator, these both scream buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin. These indicators are long-term indicators and they both are screaming buy Bitcoin, Puel and the hash ribbon. If we take a look at the exchanges, guys, we can take a look at the outflow and we can also take a look at the reserves of the exchanges. These, these two also scream buy Bitcoin. Very positive indicators to buy Bitcoin. And then if it comes to stable coins, you can see that the stable coins ratio is also screaming buy Bitcoin. I'm not going too deep into these things because then the video would be too long. You can Google this yourself, but also the stablecoin ratio is screaming buy Bitcoin. And if we take a look at the network, at the NVRV, we talked about this one many times in the videos. This one also at the moment screaming buy Bitcoin. So guess what? I think you need to buy Bitcoin. All these indicators, long-term, mid-term indicators are screaming buy. So why wouldn't you buy at the moment? We are seeing all the charts showing us we are going up. Yes, we can dip one more time and then you can buy thousand dollars cheaper, but you don't want to miss the bull run. Yes, I'm creating FOMO now. You don't want to risk the bull run up to 20K or 16K, whatever we will see at the end of this year. And then one more thing, guys. Yes, I just read that Kraken is the first Bitcoin exchange, crypto exchange that is getting a, a banking license in the United States. I still need to dig into this because I don't understand why we as a crypto community should be very happy that these exchanges now want a banking license, a banking license. Because I thought we were disrupting the banking system, so why do we as a crypto community, as crypto exchanges now want to become banks? I think they all say yes, of course, because then it's more easy to get money into the crypto scene. Um, yeah. Or we, are just, or we can just be patient for people to understand the other ways to move into cryptocurrency. Why would we as crypto industry want to become banks to create the same system again? Or I don't know, I need to dig deeper into this. I'm, I'm going to check the reasons for Kraken to do this. So I will keep you up to date to this because I love Kraken. It's one of the best exchanges out there. I've been there since the beginning. I bought my first Bitcoins on Kraken, I think. So yes, I, I, I need to figure out why they are doing this. But guys, if you want to be in an exchange that doesn't have KYC and all these regulations and where you can pot trade and where you can margin trade and where you can copy trade and guys, yes, where you can even use the Turbo game, then sign up to Prime XBT use a referral link down below and just you, you 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 need to sign up to prime xbt because they are a supporter of this amazing tour we are doing the next three months i'm very thankful to this company so please help me sign up to prime xbt and check them out because the features they are giving you they are amazing you can not only trade bitcoins but you can only tr also trade stocks and commodities like gold and silver and all that stuff so you need to check out prime xbt and play the game turbo but 
I warn you, you will be addicted to this game before you know it. And while walking back, guys, I'm going to tell you one more thing, and that is why, one more reason why I think Bitcoin is going up from here, and that is that the Fed just announced that they want to keep, I need to watch out here, coming down, Whoop, one sec, that the Fed just announced that they want to keep the interest to zero or to 0.2 percent the next three years. This means that everybody that is hodling their money, their fiat, is not receiving interest. So what do you think that these people are going to do? I think these people are going to hedge their capital in gold, silver or other stores of values like Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the trend and also these smart investors, smart people that made a lot of capital, they will understand that they need to go with the trend. And that is the reason why they will step into this beautiful world of Bitcoin. Yes, almost as beautiful as the views you're seeing here around me. And yes, guys, don't worry. I will be back to this place and I will show you the most beautiful spots of this spot. So yes, that was a preview of this amazing place here near the place we are staying. It's about a six to seven minute drive. So I will drive back to show you the most beautiful spot of this spot. Just drove back from this beautiful place where I recorded the video to this company I should be able to wrap the car they were open now I asked them if they can do it they can do it I need to send them like an example of what I think that the car should look like and all that stuff and then they will make a quote so I'm going to drive home now go to the beach first with the kids and then edit the video send all the information so that we can wrap this car uh, this week they did show a small example. I, I can show you an example we have been playing around with, but I, this is not a definitive example. This is just an example of what is going to happen to this white car. Something, for example, like this. The Bitcoin family, two brands, one love, machine and trader. Again, just an example because Prime XBT is also going to be on it and some other uh, small supporters of the tour as well, like a fuel sponsor and some companies that just want to join this crazy cool adventure we are creating. Um, so. There will be a different image of the car, but this is how you can see that we are working on it. It's going to be a complete wrapped car, different colors, different vibe. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but I need to hurry now, pick up the kids, go to the beach, enjoy life a little bit, edit the video and bring the video to you again. Probably the video is live in the evening again, because I just don't get it on time in the mornings. Portugal is one hour time difference so when I get up at 7 it's already 8 in the rest of Europe and I don't know what kind of time it is in your country so sorry that I can't produce these videos every morning I could push them to YouTube every morning but then you know all the price information wouldn't be completely up to date so that is why I prefer to push it in the evening so that people that want to see the price information on time can watch it in the evening and for you guys that go a bed early and wake up in the morning and want to enjoy the video during a coffee it is also beautiful because then you can enjoy it in the morning and most of the information then is still relative and even the price information can still be relative but that's why I shifted from the early mornings to the evening so that both sides of the world the United States Europe Asia can watch the video on the perfect time that was all the information for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the information and all the views. If you did enjoy this information, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you will be notified on every video I will make during this really cool the Bitcoin Family Machina Turbo Tour. Yes, the Bitcoin Family Machina Turbo Tour. I will keep mentioning these names of Machina Trader and Prime XBT because these are the main supporters of our tour. I want to Thank you for watching today's video. I want to remind you to always zoom out in crypto, to zoom in at life, try to enjoy every single minute of the day, as that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thank you, enjoy your day, and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.